all right in this video i'm going to be showing you how to set up your blog even if you have never set up one before and every two uh, features that we're going to be using in this video are going to be completely free except for your domain name and the hosting fee every other thing here is going to be free and we're not going to be explaining things that are not relevant to you especially if you just want to get your blog online in later videos i'll be showing you some other features that can add better functionalities to your website but that is not the purpose of this video what i want to do here is just to show you exactly how you can get your blog set up get it online and get people to read and watch your content so if you're ready then let's start all right i'm already in my wordpress admin login page if you don't know how to get to this point check my previous video where i explain exactly what you will do to get to this point so at this point i am in the newly installed wordpress on this website which i use for tutorial it's not really um an active website okay so after i have typed in my username and my password all you need to do is just to click on the login button all right once you're logged in you get to your admin dashboard now this is what your admin dashboard look like if you just installed your wordpress um, fresh so what i will do here is to clean up this dashboard so that all we're going to be seeing here are things that are relevant to us every other thing that might confuse us i'm going to hide them so what i will do here for this i'm just going to come to this dismiss i don't need this for now and all these other things i'm seeing here i want to hide them until later time where we can use them so what i would do is i come to this screen option i click on it you can see here that we have all these boxes ticked so i'm going to untick all of them i will untick all of them as i untick each of these features you see that they disappear from the dashboard okay so once i'm done with that i'm going to click on the screen option again you can see that everything looks clean and empty now so we can get her head okay so once we get that done the next thing i want you to do is to come to settings option here then you trace permalinks you click on the permalinks um when you get there you come here you can see that it's already by default it's on day and name we're going to change it to post name i'm going to be explaining the reason why we are doing that later but for now just click on post name okay scroll down and save changes okay so the changes has been saved let's move on okay so once we get that done the next thing we want to go to is to come to appearance and come to teams then you click on teams all right so what we're going to be doing here is to install a team now in case you don't know what a team is a team is a software within wordpress repository that enables you to design your blog exactly the way you want it to appear normally when you install your new wordpress on your website it's going to come with three default themes okay and those are the themes you're seeing here you can see 2020 2019 and 2021 themes. these are default theme by wordpress but we are not going to use any of these themes so what we're going to do here right now is that we're going to install a new theme that we're going to use to find our blog there are two types of themes we have the paid themes and we have the free themes um the theme we're going to be using in this video is going to be a completely free team you don't need to pay for it and it's still going to give you exactly the kind of professional looking website or blog that you want to have but if you want to go for the paid team usually personally i use the dv team of course there are hundreds of team in wordpress repository that you can use but I use DV as if I'm going to go with a pay team. But for this free team, I want us to go ahead and use a team called Nev. All right. Why are we using Nev? Nev just gives you everything you desire. It's very fast. It's very easy to work with, and it's completely free and it's safe. A lot of people use Nev, so it's going to be a good idea that we do same. So what we want to do here is to come to Hard New here. Hard New. Click on Hard New. Alright, so you come to search team and type in Nive. 
okay i have it already pre-selected here so i'm just going to type in nive and then we wait for it to select for us so you can see here nive is the first option it's giving us here now if you want to look at the feel and what it appears like you can come to this preview button and check it up but for me i'm not going to be doing that because i already know what it looks like okay so i'm going to go to install now which i um, advise that you do come to install and click on the install let's wait for it to get installed okay once that is done click on activate okay so it has been activated all right so if you come here now you will see that before now we had three themes which i showed you already we have the 20 21 the 20 20 and 2019 theme so what we're going to do right now i don't like to keep too many things that are not necessary on my website so i'm going to be deleting the other themes that came um with wordpress as a diff as default themes okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to click on this um theme details and i will delete every other theme apart from the one the new theme that we just installed now so let's go ahead and do that you come to theme detail you click on it okay you come to delete you click on delete you click on okay and you do the same for the other two the same here the same here okay Okay, let's do it for the last one same here delete okay all right so those three things have been deleted automatically wordpress will not allow you delete the last thing because there has to always be a team in your wordpress so that is the team that we're going to work with okay so we are now ready to work with the nif team all right one of the advantages of using nif is that nif will give you a couple of already made templates so that all you need to do is just to copy what is already on those templates to suit the kind of website you want to build now let me just advise you that anytime you're building a website in fact if you're doing anything in digital marketing at all try to copy what is already working don't try to start afresh or to be too unique because the truth of the matter is that there's actually nothing that is new everything you see out there are things that people just copy from somewhere and just make changes and edit it and make it look like what they want it to be so you don't want to go through the stress of trying to create a new website from the scratch no nobody does that even the the best of web designers around that is what they do they just copy what is already existing and just put touches on it and boom they have their new and unique website so that is exactly what we want to do in this case so for us to do that let's come to this blue button that says try one of our ready to use starter temp uh, starter site so you click on that All right, so once that is done, you come to this install and activate here. You do the same, click on it. All right, so you can see a display here. These are several kinds of already made templates that you can just copy and build your website from. Look, it's that simple. Don't try to overcomplicate it by trying to do something new. Just pick any of the ones here that you think you love and that you think will work well with the kind of website or the blog you want to build. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be going with this minimal blog here. Okay. Now, one of the things you can do is if you click on the preview here, it's going to show you what the website look like. Okay so that if you want it you can now save it but i won't be doing that because i want to try as much as possible to keep this video short so i'll just come to import and click on import all right once i click on import it's going to bring this pop-up don't touch anything here just for just leave everything the way they are and use and click on the import entire site here all right depending on the speed of your internet connection um, this can take between a few seconds to a couple of minutes to get done okay so mine is done already so what i'm going to do here now is that okay you can see these two options here it says view website here and it says add your own content for now we're not going to go with add your own content let's just click on view website all right so this is what the pre-made template look like as you can see so all you have to do is just to begin to modify 
what you have here so that it can look like the kind of website that you want to have now because what we want to design in this video is just our blog okay we don't want to design a full website or a company's website so uh, we're not going to be using every function or every feature that is displayed on this website okay we're just going to be focusing on creating our blog i believe that is what you want and that is why you're watching this video so let's go ahead and make that happen now all right um when you're designing a blog there are two major features that are very important to your blog and those are your pages and your posts okay just as the name goes your posts are of course your articles and your content that you want to reach people with while your pages are just static pages where these posts are displayed okay so right now we're going to go to our pages and explain certain things that you need to understand if you're designing a blog now if you check the top right corner of this page you're going to see some pages that are displayed here already we have the home we have the about we have the news and we have the contact okay now for the sake of this tutorial we are not going to be working with the home for now you can do that later when you're better used to designing your website but most times it's uh, a big website or a company's website that really use some of these kind of pages what we want to really discuss in this video is just the news page okay so let me let me click on the news page so that we'll see what it looks like all right so we are in the news page now this news page is going to act as our blog page now once you come into this news page if you scroll down you will see what we have here all right these are things that your blog is going to look like when people visit them but one of the things i want to explain to you is that this blog page is an example of what we call a a post archive page okay so what do we mean by a post archive page now the first thing you need to know about this page this news page is that it's acting as our blog page meaning that every time you upload a new article on your blog it's going to be displayed here in this format now you can see this is an example of a blog even though it came with the default team when we de uh, when we installed it we're going to be deleting all of this later but you can see what we have here showing us a featured image and a topic or a heading for the blog post now you can see a little bit of an excerpt from that post okay so um all right on this page right now we have let's count them we have how many posts here we have one we have two three four five six okay so we have six posts here okay so that is what your blog page is going to be looking like but this page itself is actually an empty page as we're going to see later it's an empty page so what we're going to do is that as you upload new content on your blog they are going to be automatically displayed on this post archive page which i call the news page okay now we're going to change this news page to a blog page later as we continue in this um, tutorial so let's go ahead and edit that now so let's head over to our page where we can begin to do our editing so you come to this my blog here let's click on dashboard okay so once you're here you just come over and look for pages here okay like we have here pages click on all pages now these are the pages that came as default pages with the NIF theme that we just installed now we don't need any of most of these pages honestly speaking we don't need them so what i'm going to be doing right now is that i'm going to be deleting some of them so i'm going to delete this sample page i'm going to click here uh, i'm going to delete the privacy policy okay i'm going to leave home and leave news for now i'm going to leave contact for now okay let me leave about for now so let me delete these two what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select them as we have seen then i come to bulk action i click on bulk action i click to move to trash apply 
okay it has been moved to trash but i want it completely off my website so i'm going to come to the trash tab i'm going to click and select all of them i'm going to click on bulk action and i'm going to delete permanently i'm going to apply All right, so they've all gone from our website. So let's go back to all pages. Okay, so the first thing we want to work on is our news page. Now, this news page is the page that we're going to be concentrating all our attentions on, on this, in this tutorial, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to come to this news and come to edit just under the news and click on it. All right, so we are there right now. Now, like I told you, honestly speaking, this news page is an empty page, okay? The only thing that is going to appear in this news page is, going, is just this news that you're seeing here. But for us to be very sure, let's look at what it looks like. Okay, let's go back to all pages. All right, so let's come to this news, this view here. Let's, let me open it in another tab. All right, so you can see what this new, what it looks like here. Now, like I told you, this is an empty, empty page. The only thing that is in this page is the news. Every other thing does not exist. Okay, so let's come here again, come to this news, come to edit. All right, so like I said, this is what it looks like in the front end. And this is what it looks like in the back end. Now, everything you're seeing here will not come up live when anybody search this page. Okay? So now I'm going to be changing this from news to the name of our blog. Okay? So I'm going to delete it. To delete it, just place your arrow on this. As you can see, then you click on your, or you enter your delete button on your keyboard. Then I'm going to be changing the name to my new blog. All right, my new blog. Okay, I'm going to update it. All right, it's updated. Now let's look at what this looks like here. I'm going to refresh my page so you can see that it has changed to my new blog. Okay, so you can put in the name of your blog or whatever you want people to see when they log into your website here. All right, so we've done that. So now that we've changed the name to my new blog, let's go back, come back to these pages, come to posts, click on all posts. Okay, sorry, let me update this again. All right, so let's come back to post, all posts, click on that. All right, now once again, just as we had in the page section, this team also came with some pre-made posts and those are the posts that we are seeing all here okay so these are the posts we're going to be changing and fixing in our own content and our home posts so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to delete all of these posts except one okay so i'm going to delete this i'll delete this i'll delete this i'll delete all of them leaving just one all right, so I've highlighted all the ones I want to delete. I'll come to bulk action here. I click on move to trash, apply. Then I'll come back to trash here. I want to delete everything permanently. So I'm going to come to bulk, sorry. I'm going to select all of them. Come to bulk action, delete permanently, apply okay so everything has been deleted so i come back to my post all of them all right so you can see what we have here now let's go back to our archive page and refresh it so that you can see what i was trying to talk about as you can see we only have one left so you can see every post that you have on your blog are going to be showing up in the news or the my new blog page as you can see so now we have just one left so 
come back here now what we're going to do right now is that let's assume that you have a new post that you want to publish online what you will do is that once you get to your dashboard you come to this post all you need to do is just to come to one of these posts that i did not delete you click on edit all right so okay so this is where we are you click on edit all right so um let's assume that i want to talk about how to design a website that is the topic of my article so i'm going to write how to design a website okay so that is the name that's the title of my blog post all right so all i do here is okay let me just copy a dummy test but in your own case of course you're going to use content that you've already written in in, in time past okay let me just use lorium ipsum okay so i'm going to copy a dummy test from here just as an example so you see what we are trying to talk about control copy or command copy then i come back to edit post here then i'm going to select all of these sorry i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to control paste okay so i've pasted my dummy test here okay so in your own case it's not going to be a dummy test rather it's going to be the post or the article that you have just written okay so the next thing i'm going to do okay let me update it so that you can see what it looks like okay remember we just changed the title okay so let's view it here again let me refresh it all right so as you can see here it is how to design a website okay can you see that all right so the next thing i want to do right now is to change this featured image okay so you come back to your post then you come to where are you all right so you come to post you click on post you scroll down you click on featured image okay so you can see the featured image you click on replace image if you want to replace this image with another image that you have already prepared and you click on replace image and if you don't want your blog post to come with any image at all then you're going to click on remove featured image but in my own case i always want to have a featured image so i'm going to be using an image that i already made before now and replace it with this now as a good practice it is always better that before you write your blog post you should have designed your featured image and every other image that you want on your website okay and already uploaded them on your website so what i'm going to be doing right now is that i'm going to be showing you how to upload your images on your website so let's go ahead and do that let me update this once again okay so for you to do that all you need to do is to come to media here come to media library click on the library let's see what we have there already all right so these are the images that are already on your website now where did these images come from immediately you installed your nif theme nif theme already came with certain images as we saw okay let's check that again okay before we deleted all of this you saw that we had about six posts that came with their images all of those images were automatically installed on your website so what you can do is either to delete all of these images if you don't need them or if you need them you can leave them and then add up your own so i'm going to be adding one more image just to show you um, how to replace our featured image like i was trying to tell you so come to add new here okay come to select file and click on it 
all right so go to your computer and look for where you saved your image as for me i'm going to check it up here all right this is what i have here so i'm going to click on that i'm going to double click on it and wait for it to get uploaded So as you can see it has been uploaded now if i have more than one image which of course i should i'm going to select all of those images and i'm going to add them up to my media library so let's go back to our posts remember we're trying to change the featured image of our post so let's let's go back there all posts okay let's click on edit okay so let's come to post as we have here let's scroll down look for featured image again okay let's wait our featured image has loaded so what i'm going to do right now is to replace this image so i'm going to click on replace image all right so see the image that we just uploaded so i'm going to be clicking on that i'm going to click on set featured image so let's check out what is going to happen here so as you can see our image has been uploaded so i'm going to update that once again all right so it's up uploaded and updated so i'm going to come back here let's refresh this image and see what it's going to look like now So as you can see that our image has changed so you can see my new blog you can see how to design a website and you can see that our image has has changed now okay so that is exactly how to do this and if your website or your blog is live anybody that comes to your website will easily see this and they can go ahead click on it and start reading your post it's that simple okay so before we end this tutorial i'm going to show you something that you need to do let's go back to all posts here okay before i tell you what to do now when you come here you will see that this post already comes with a an image and it also comes with a design now you can see that um, our post title came in in a black color it has a particular kind of font okay and everything the formatting comes with a kind of style and what you want to do on your blog is that you want to maintain uniformity so you don't want another blog post not to be having a probably a green color and another kind of formatting you want everything to appear the same okay so what you're going to do right now is that you just if you have another blog post you want to publish all you need to do is to come here and try to duplicate this particular post after duplicating the post you will now change the featured image you're going to change the content of the post and so it's going to look exactly like the previous post that you did so for you to be able to do that we are going to be installing a plugin a plugin is also like a software or a tool that helps add functionalities to your website okay and that plugin is going to help us so that we can easily duplicate our posts okay so let's go ahead and do that you come down here to where we have plugins come to hard new okay so we have thousands hundreds of thousands of plugins in wordpress so you're going to come to this place and click on the name of the plugin we want to install is called duplicate posts so you're going to type duplicate posts and let's see if we can get that okay so let's come to this use duplicate post click on install then click on activate all right so that post has been active uh, that plugin has been activated now these are all the plugins that we have on this website some of them also came 
by default with WordPress when we installed WordPress and we're going to be deleting them. For example, we were not the one that installed this first one. So you're going to mark it. You're going to leave this second one alone. Please don't delete that. You're going to delete this hello Dolly. Okay. All right. So let's delete those ones. Delete, apply. All right, so we're going to leave every other one. This is just the one we just activated a few moments ago. Okay, so let's go back to our post and see what has happened here. Click on post. All right, now when you look at this, you will see that we have here edit quick edit trash view clone new drafts rewrite and republish so what we want to do here is to come to new drafts click on that new draft and let's see what is going to happen okay so this is a new draft so all you need to do right now is just to change the name of this to the new post you want to publish so here let's assume i want to i want the topic of my article to be how to blog for example how to blog okay so that is that how to blog then i will also change all of this okay to the article that i just finished writing what again am I going to change? Can you can you guess? Of course, I'm going to change the featured image again and replace the featured image with another image. Remember, this is another blog post we are creating, but we want the design to be exactly like the first one we created so that there can be uniformity. So I'm just going to pick any random image here. Um, what do I pick? Okay, let me just pick this just as an example. Set featured image. Let's wait for it to get uploaded. Okay, it has been uploaded. I'm going to click on publish. Publish. All right, so that also has been published. Okay, so let's come here again and refresh this and see what is going to happen. Let's refresh that. As you can see, that we now have two blog posts all looking the same in terms of design as you can see okay so the only difference here is that the dimension of these images are not the same of course we're going to be talking about images later on not in this tutorial okay so you can see now this is how you keep adding more and more and more posts to your blog and your blog is live all right so we are almost done with our blog page Okay, so if I scroll down, there is something else here that I do not want. Now, if you come here, you're going to see this name powered by WordPress. I don't want to see this. Rather, I want it to show the name of my blog. Okay, so I'm going to be changing this. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and change that. So let's come to this customize here. Click on customize. All right, now we're in customize section. All right, all you want to do is you want to come to footer yeah that is where it is you're going to come to footer you're going to click on footer all right once you click on footer you can see here you're going to click on this button okay so what i'm going to do here you're going to come here i'm going to remove everything that i have here okay i'm going to remove everything that i have here you can see everything is gone and then i'm going to just write the name of my blog for instance you say playroom 2022 okay of course there are so many other things we can do just for now this is just for the sake of this tutorial all right playroom 2022 i think for now i'm okay with that i'm going to come to publish and click on the publish all right once i do that i'm going to come here and cancel this Okay, so let's go back and check out what we have now. So you can see that everything it has changed to Playroom 2022. Now, like I told you, there are several things that we can do to this blog page. 
to make it look more amazing than this but i want to be sure that you understand this tutorial and that is why i'm not going to be talking about too many things at the same time get this ready once you get this ready your website will be live people can begin to view your website and as time goes on you can continue to work on improving several other things that you want to add to this website so all right the last thing we're going to do before we end this video is to make our blog page the home page for this blog um, the best way to explain this is to show you what the blog we just designed will look like when a visitor come online to check up what we have on our blog so let's get over and do that now so let's come here and check up our blog all right so this is what we have here and you will agree with me that this is not what we designed okay this is the home page that came as a default um, page when we installed our NIF team so what we're going to do right now is to make the blog page that we have designed to be our home page so that anybody that comes to our blog will visit the blog page immediately instead of coming to the home page and then having to um, to travel down to the blog page okay so what we want to see anytime that we go to our blog is this blog page okay and i want to suggest that every blog especially if you are just beginning your blog should have this kind of setting so that anybody that comes to your blog will go straight to the blog page instead of having to go to a, to the to the home page and then the person have to come to the blog page from your own page okay so what we're going to do right now is to go to our settings and make this particular blog page our own page so that once somebody comes into our blog the person can go straight to our blog and begin to assess our blog post so let's go over to the settings and do that now um we come to the dashboard let's click on our dashboard then from our dashboard we come to settings and then we click on the reading okay so you click on the reading once you do that it's going to take you to this point now this is the default setting for this blog but then what we want to do right now is that we want to make our blog page to become our own page so the first thing i want us to do is to actually go over and rename that page that we call my new blog let's just call it blog okay i think that is going to be better let's just call it blog so let's go over to the page again come to all pages click on all pages all right so once we are here let's go to edit this all right so we are here right now so instead of calling this my new blog let's just call it blog okay so let's delete the my new all right we just call it blog all right and then we update that all right so now that we've changed it to blog let's go and see what it's going to look like so let's come head over to our dashboard okay so let's check what we now have since we've changed it to our to, so you can see now that instead of calling it my new blog it has changed to blog so what we want to do right now is to make this blog the home page so that anybody that comes to our blog we go straight to the page that we have just um, redesigned so let's go ahead and do that we head over to our dashboard again we go to our settings and then we come to reading okay so now that we are in the reading setting now what we're going to do is that we're going to choose we're going to highlight the static page that we have here just as we have here now in your own page i want you to leave it empty okay leave that empty but your post page you're going to select blog select blog okay so once you do that you scroll down and save our changes all right so now that we've saved our changes so let's go back and see what we're going to have now so let's come to um my visit my site let me open it in a new tab okay so as you can see now anybody that comes 
to our website will just come straight to the blog page okay the person will not have to go through an own page and then go to the blog page and i think every blog should be like this don't worry um with time we're going to be adding more and more features to our website but for now with this your website is ready to go live online and um, be assessed by your visitors all right, so let's let check it up again in an incognito window and see what it's going to give to us. So we come back here and then let's type in the, the address of our, of our blog. Okay, and then let's enter it as, an, as a visitor and see what it's going to give to us. All right, so you can see that our blog is ready okay so all you need to do is to follow the same process of adding new blog posts just as we have done for the first one and done for the second one please i want to go back rewind this tutorial if you need to um, the truth of the matter is that when you are trying to start up this blog you're going to spend a little bit more time than we have spent here because there are some things you still need to figure out yourself so make sure you try it out take your time enjoy the process and if you have any question come on i am always available to help you through okay in our next tutorial we're going to be adding more functionalities to our blog but i can assure you that at this point your blog is already a perfect blog ready to go live and ready to start bringing in visitors to your website thank you very much and have a great experience working on your blog